everybody, this is Rebecca Tatila with Aroma Hut Institute, and today we are going to be talking about the essential oils and using them for making anointing oil. And in this video, we're going to be making a special blend that I have created called Three Kings Anointing Oil. Stay tuned. Anointing oil is an oil that's been blessed and consecrated as a spiritual tool. In and of itself, it is simply an oil, but once therapeutic essential oils are added with the prayer of faith, it becomes a much more powerful tool that can be used in a number of ways. While several ministries may want to restrict who may bless and anoint with oil, it is the right all believers have and should be exercised daily. This recipe for creating an essential oil uses essential oils of frankincense, myrrh, and cassia. Okay, so the recipe that I'm going to be doing today for our anointing oil comes from my book, Healing in the Bible with Essential Oil. So we're going to be using just a few ingredients. It's very simple to make. You can do this at home and just need your essential oils and a carry oil. So let's do that. So this blend calls for olive oil. Now I have sweet oil, which is actually olive oil. This is the first uh, press. This is the actual best that you can get. So this is sold at a drugstore. You can usually find this because this is used for cleaning ears and other things. But if you don't have that available, then you're going to want to get just some olive oil. Now it's best to use cold pressed first pressed, um, which would be the extra virgin cold pressed olive oil. And the essentials for this blend we're going to be using frankincense. Uh, frankincense, of course, is symbolic of the priest or the high, uh, the high priest or the king. And myrrh is symbolic of the servant, like Yeshua, um, because of its meaning and its symbolism in scripture. We see this one talks about the bitterness and the suffering. So this is the servant oil and cassia. Now cassia, I thought, smells a lot like cinnamon. It is part of that same uh, species. Now this one means to bow down or to pay homage. And I thought that was very good for this blend because it is an, a blend that's symbolic of the kings who came to worship the Christ child. And of course they say three kings, but it was probably more of an entourage of hundreds and hundreds of people that came to bow down and worship him. So those are my three oils. Now this recipe we're going to be using, this sounds like a lot, but it's because it's going to be an anointing oil that is almost like a perfume. We're going to use 30 drops of our frankincense and then 30 drops of our myrrh and 10 drops of cassia with about a one ounce of your carrier. Now I am going to be using it in a nice pretty bottle that I picked up in Egypt, which will, would be used for perfume. So I'm really just going to be filling this up with my carrier and then adding the essential oils into that. Um, you will need a mixing bowl or something to use for your oils. If you don't have a mixing bowl to use, you can just add your blend directly into your bottle and just shake it up and have it ready to go. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my sweet oil. And if you have a pipette to use, that's great. Otherwise, just pour it directly in. Now the recipe calls for one ounce. I'm going to leave a little bit of space because I want to go ahead and get my essential oils in. All right, so we're going to start with their frankincense with 30 drops. Okay. And we're going to be doing 30 drops of myrrh. Now, a little thick, so you might need to take your reducer out. Okay, so 30 drops of myrrh. 
and we need 10 drops of cassia. and fill in the rest of the space with our carrier if you want and go ahead and replace with your top now this is a little different from most bottles so what I'm going to be doing is just basically rocking it back and forth to blend it gently and I'm going to just set it up on the shelf and let it melt together and make it a nice wonderful fragrance so you're going to just be able to just shake it up to blend if you have a cap on it. So you're going to want to pray a blessing over your oil, consecrate it for the use of anointing, and enjoy this. Okay, so if you want to get more recipes and learn about the essential oils of the Bible and how you can use those for today's healing, get a copy of my book, Healing in the Bible with Essential Oils, available on Amazon. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.